Hello, welcome back to my little channel. I hope you're all well and have had a pleasant week. I'm fine. I am more than fine with my health journey. I've got back into it. I've, I'm trying to eat better, trying to exercise more for a number of reasons. Want to be slimmer, fitter, healthier. Thought I'd just get this out of the way and bore you to tears. But basically, I've had a little health update. I've got fibroids down there and I'm probably going to be having a hysterectomy. Long story. And my doctors have advised that I lose weight and get my BMI down. So just letting you know, that's my little update. And I'm going to be really stepping up with my health journey. I'm in the right place anyway. I've got a really good reason for this operation to get myself fit and healthy. And summer's coming. I don't want to get any bigger. I've been trying to lose weight the last couple of weeks and it's very slow. I've lost about two and a half, three kilos, and I've been working quite hard and eating very little, but you know, I've sort of wised up to the fact that I just need to be doing it in stages, steadily, eating lots of whole foods, lots of healthy foods, eating intuitively, not starving myself or being ridiculous. So anyway, that is my little health update and the start of my health journey. Today, I thought I would take you along on a little trip to Guildford. Not going to be doing much. Not much is on the, the list today. I'm going to be popping to Primarco, good old Primark, to have a little look. And I need some makeup. My face, what do you call it? Not concealer, foundation concealer stuff has all run out. And I'm not really in the place where I want to spend money on lovely Charlotte Tilbury, although I hopefully will be one day. But I do quite like Primark makeup. So I'm going to be getting some, getting some Primark makeup probably popping to mcdonald's for a happy meal which you could say is a cheat meal but it's like 300 calories nice little vegetarian option which i'll show you in a minute and probably just walking around town trying to get lots of steps in and oh i'm just about to show you a room tour as well i'm in a different room currently i'm in a different house actually i can't lie i have actually filmed this intro already where i live and <laughs> It's um, it was way too dark, so I'm at a friend's house right now, and we are going shopping in a minute. I've come to pick her up. Anyway, I will be back soon, probably in an hour or two, when hopefully it'll still be light, and I'll be filming my little outro from the same rooms and showing what I've bought, if I've bought anything, if I buy anything at all from the lovely Primark. See you soon. Bye. So I'm back in McDonald's, a different branch this time, but I just had to show you the view quickly. Part of the reason for coming here. So you come up these stairs, it's on the third floor of a townhouse. This is my little room. It's a decent enough size double. You come in. That's basically, I'm trying to fall down the stairs. Gosh, I'm very clumsy. That's what it looks like. Could be a bit tidier. I could have sorted the bed out a bit, but as you can see, I haven't got a double duvet on there because I just can't be bothered to make up the bed properly. So I've got a single washable, what's the word? Duve, duve, coverless duvet, that's the one, with a throw. I can't be bothered with any more than that. That's a big enough commitment for me. Anyway, nice big king size bed. 
Oh, look, you can see the cherry Pepsi on the table, obviously. And the book I'm reading is from my lovely friend Patricia, The Genie in Your Genes, about epi... Right, wait a sec. Epi... Gen kinetic medicine and the new biology of intention. So, and that Pepsi cherries for later. That's the bed, very nice, nice big cupboard. Nothing in there, so no point showing it. All my bits and bobs here. This is basically all my possessions in this property. It's not much, it's just a bit of beauty, kettle, books. I still haven't really bothered to place things. I can't really, I just can't be bothered. It's just a room to sleep in. My nice little plant there, which I love. Fake faux plant from the lovely Primark. Chest of drawers. I did fork out for a laundry basket there. That was from, from the range. And nothing much in these drawers. I'll show you one. I've got dry food in here. So I have to take um, orange juice with my iron pill. I've got nutritional yeast. Chuck it on anything. It's very cheesy. It's lovely. Strawberry jam, peanut butter. Oh yeah, delish. One of these noodly things. You can't really go wrong with those, can you? So yes, that's the main room. It's just, you can't really see much. I'll go from the, the window. That's the bed. This is a basic double. Quite nice. It's a nice house, I have to say. And I'll take you down to my bathroom. But yeah, it's quite good for light. It's very dark today because it's rainy but it normally lets quite a lot of light in. It is comfortable, I can't lie. I could do worse. Anyway, this is my view as I come down the stairs. I will show you, I won't show you any of the living quarters of the homeowner, I'll just show you the rooms that I have. Rooms, huh, a bedroom and a bathroom. Anyway, this is my bathroom. Straight ahead, you've got a window on your left. Very exciting. And a toilet, basin, nice mirror. Nice shower. I have to say, I do prefer a standalone shower because I'm not a bath person. I'm always scared about breaking a hip as I climb into the old bath. But as baths go, it's quite nice and low down. So you don't really have to, you know, like really step over it, like jump over it. It's quite easy to get into. I hope it's clean. It should be. That top rainfall sort of shower bit attachment doesn't work. But it's a nice, clean, quite new, well well, it's not established. Well-designed bathroom, I suppose. Pretty happy with that. The other rooms I can't show you, but I will just, you have a laugh at the state of the fridge, or my shelf at least. So this is the fridge. <laughs> All these shelves that have things on them, like bottles and exciting things like that, are not mine. Can you guess which is my shelf? Oh, play the, play the world's smallest violin. All I have are Applewood vegan slices, a Brit different, vegan cheese, basically. That is it. That is literally all I have in the fridge. I had a load of stuff the other day, like yogurts, like coconut yogurts, bread, and it all went off. And pineapple, I had to chuck it, such a waste. So until I do a shop, that is all I have. <laughs> so back from Primark, nice little trip around Guildford which you hopefully would have seen and the first thing I got from Primark which is so thrillingly exciting don't even know how much it was I think it was a quid is a bag which looks like a paper bag but but is actually canvas bag canvas it's got a little popper nice quite like that and then inside really thrilling and exciting guys the first item I didn't even try this on my skin so I do hope this the color is going to kind of match that's the color I'd like to be anyway vanilla 04 my perfect color illuminating foundation and that was six pounds and the reason I picked up this one I did want the more sort of um what's the word not moist luminous kind of you know, more liquidy. I can't explain it. Like, makes you look more, what's the word? Like more, not just illuminated or luminous, but more sort of um, a dewy, dewy kind of look. And it didn't have SPF in. So this one has got SPF in and it's got wild pansy and rose extract. Six quid. Yeah. If it looks decent enough, it'll do quite nicely, I'm sure. 
Then the next item I got, which you would have seen on film, is an Illuminate Under Eye Concealer, which was 350 Pretty good, I thought. And it's got one of those sort of little foamy bits on the end. Foamy applicators, I think you call it. And it is in porcelain. Lightweight and buildable, apparently. And it's also illuminating, which I think we agree, we can all agree, is terribly helpful. Then I got a little lippy. So it's this sort of colour. It's a sort of, you can't go wrong, sort of your lip, but better kind of pinky, rosy, slightly almost brownie colour. And it is in, is it Gossip? I think it's Gossip. Gossip. Yeah. Can you see? £1.50. I thought, again, if even if it's not quite right, you can't go wrong. And I'm someone that multi-uses my makeup. So if I have a an eye colour or lippy, it's not just going to get used for that purpose. I'm going to use it for lips, cheeks, bronzer, maybe chuck on the eyes. Not that I really wear eye makeup because I cannot apply it. I have one with makeup here, the one up here, and I'm like, ah, oh, I can't be bothered. And it just looks so terrible. I must have a lesson. I keep saying that I must have a lesson applying makeup, eye makeup in particular. Anyway, and then nothing really else apart from chewing gum. Really random. I can't lie, but it's sugar-free, watermelon. I mean, what's not to like? Sugar-free chewing gum with sweeteners, helpfully telling you. That was by the counter. And I just thought, a mouthful of a burst of watermelon flavour. Why not? Yeah. You know, while I'm waiting for a bus. Yeah. For a quid. Not bad. And then this is random, but I also got some peppermint tea bags from Sainsbury's. And then I got some vegetarian sushi as well. But that has been devoured on the way back. Anyway, that is the end of my little tiny vlog. Do let me know if you'd like me to try this kind of thing again. I'm still sort of learning. I'd like to learn in future how to put music to clips. And I think I have to pay an upgrade for the app that I'm on already. I'm on a free app at the moment that edits on my little Google Pixel phone. And I might actually push the boat out and get get the, the upgrade so I can put music on, voiceover, whatever. You never know what the future could be. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching. Wish me luck. Please send me joy and luck and hope for the best for my health journey. I'm trying really hard. I really want this time to beat the sugar addiction. I don't want it to have a hold over me. And I would just love to eat healthily. I'd love to not want naughty foods I hate that word naughty you shouldn't call food naughty I know that but I just want to be able to just take it or leave it and be in control rather than the naughty naughty foods the fatty foods being in control of me do you know what I mean I'm also working to cut down diet coke because I've been reading things about it again and you know trying to limit it and really enjoy it when I have it try and drink lots of water which is not going so well I have to admit but you know steering the ship in the right direction anyway not to bore you anymore I do hope you all have a lovely week I'm looking into many more ideas for different types of videos and I hope you'll stay with me keep on the ride with me and just see where we can go gosh that sounds so corny doesn't it just ignore that so again just have a lovely week take care of yourselves and of each other and I hope to see you again soon bye